Hi guys, today I am going to be showing you how to mod Unity games. For this example, I will be using Coral Sun because I know it's being used by Unity. Then next you're gonna need D and Spy. So, um, I already have them for D and Spy. To get D and Spy, you just go to its GitHub and download it for free. So now, I will copy all of the game's content, make a new folder, folder, and this folder I'll call something creative like Jackson, I don't know. Then in here, paste all of it. So, I accidentally deleted it, so I'll just have to copy and paste it again. So now, so this will be the ones that we're modifying. So in DN Spy, let me open it. You'll go into the data, manage. Go into DN Spy and take assembly.c sharp, open it. That. And if, or if you see more than just one thing here and it's all mixed up and stuff, just do five and data manage that one. Okay. So now that I have this open, I'll go into here, then here, then go into this little dash. This will show you all of the code for the game. So then once you're in here, I'll open up player movement for this example. And let's make them infinitely jump. So so I will find in here I'll find jump for this example. So I can see that it will only jump if it's grounded, like that. So what I can do is copy this. Then I will go to the whole script. Then in here, I'll do find. And let's just paste it. Now we'll go through everywhere that says that. That string. So eventually we'll find somewhere where it sets it to false. So, I'll just go through and find it. Great, here it is, stop grounded. So, let's just, so you have to right click and edit method, or if that isn't available, do edit class. So then here, we'll just set it to true. Um, then compile. Then next on the milk script, uh, why don't we just make it spin really fast? So edit. Let's make this spin really fast. Like that fast. Then um, on uh, player movement again. Uh, why don't we make them run fast? So we don't need this. Let's find all the variables. Probably yeah. Here it is. Now down here, I will edit the walk and move speed or the walk and run speed or whatever. I have no idea what ones. So let's change move speed to, I don't know, 9,000. Walk speed to 90, run speed to 900. <laughs> uh, Okay, then if you see this base.ctr, just delete it. It'll just give you errors. Compile. And now all of, so now all these changes are applied. So we save it. Just, okay. It'll save. Then I'll, then just go back to the folder and just run the executable. Play. So now let's, so. No. Let's see if our change is applied.
Thank you for watching. Goodbye 2020 and have a nice day.